I wouldn't say it was a complete disaster, but it certainly felt like one. Moving some bad boy African cichlids currently doing time in Cozy Acres, my rest home tank, back to my 240 gallon African cichlid show tank. I'll show you what went wrong, and more importantly, what I did to try to fix it. Here we go. Now, just a few things you should know before we get started. There are certain precautions you need to take before adding new fish to an existing African cichlid tank. There's a hierarchy in every cichlid tank, and everyone knows their place, whether it's the king or the guy who cleans the weakest peasant's toilet. They've worked very diligently to get where they are, and they'll be very willing and even eager to fight to retain their spot. Even the last guy on the list doesn't want to wind up cleaning the new guy's toilet also. Before I get moving, make sure you leave a comment and letting us know how you add fish. Is it the same as I do it, or do you have any other special tricks? We'd love to know. I play the distraction game, sleight of hand. If these guys have a lot going on, perhaps their pea brains will overlook the fact that new kids have shown up out of nowhere, and therefore maybe they won't give them the shiv in the middle of the night. My first method of distraction is to keep the light off. It makes it just a bit more difficult to see each other's colors, and it tends to reduce the aggression. I will be leaving the light on just a bit during the addition of the new fish, just so you can see what's going on. I should have the light off, but this video wouldn't be much fun if I shot the entire thing in the dark and you couldn't see anything. My second method is a water change. They'll all get frisky, and perhaps the waterfall as I fill it back up will keep their eyes off the new inmates. African cichlids are weird. It's like they're high on drugs every time I do a water change. So let's get this thing rolling. This guy here was definitely in a seat of power before he moved to Cozy Acres. That's why he had to move, way too aggressive. Now he's the king of this tank, but he's not being overly aggressive with my smaller, peaceful fish. When he goes back to his old stomping ground, however, he isn't going to remember that he was the king, and he can take a heavy beating if I'm not careful. In fact, I tried to move him back a few weeks ago without taking the extra precautions and just plopped him in and watched. For a few hours he was fine, but I disappeared for an hour and came back to find he had shredded fins, damage to a scale, and one eye was even clouded. Anyway, back to Cozy Acres he went, and he's all healed up, even the damaged eye is fine. Now that the water has started filling up in Alcatraz, it's time to get these guys over there. I'll be moving these two, as I mentioned, and also this guy, Eduardo, the thick skin obliquidens. You may think he's too small at about three inches to join the big boys who are as large as 12 inches, but in my experience, smaller is better because they aren't going to be a challenge to the hierarchy yet. So they tend to get overlooked. Just make sure they aren't bite-sized. I'm having fish tonight! I'm removing the decor to make it easier to catch them. Plus it's less likely that they'll injure themselves on something if they dart away. I use two nets, and if you drain the water down a bit, it makes it even easier. If I do that, I won't have enough hot water to fill it back up since I'm doing the other tank. It's cold in here! I've saved some water from Alcatraz in this bucket to put the fish in. I'm not worried about the parameters being different than Cozy Acres. I have the same aragonite substrate in both tanks, raising the pH, and I keep the temperature at the same level in both tanks, so I can just plop and drop, no acclimation required. Nice and easy. I'm making slower movements trying not to stress these guys out any more than necessary. I can't believe this is happening! They're already in for a long day as it is. The two nets will help in keeping them from getting past the one net and flying down to the other side. Now it may seem like if you had a fish that's dominant enough that they were terrorizing the entire main tank, and you put him into quarantine for a week, when you put him back, he'll be fine. Not so. It's that way some of the time, but not all the time. So you should always follow the precautions when adding a new fish to an existing cichlid tank. This guy is easy, just reaching in and taking what's mine. If you ever touch your fish with your hands, make sure your hands are wet before you touch them. Anything that contacts their slime coat can damage it, so you want to touch them as little as you can. Alcatraz is just down the hall from Cozy Acres, so this is a pretty quick trip for these guys. No time to pull over for a rest stop. And now it's time for distraction number three. I call it manna from heaven. Feed them and they might not see their new inmates falling out of the sky to join them. That's my hope anyway. 
Oh, and I also hope that if you've made it this far into my video, you'll at least give it a like, and maybe even subscribe. When I'm rich and famous, I'll try to remember you. All right, back to it. Maybe the current inmates will think these guys were here the whole time if I stuff them full of food. Just one of the game. I didn't use a net to retrieve these fine fellows out of the bucket for one reason. I'm so incredibly smart that I understand a rectangular net would make it difficult to corner them in a round bucket. I have a bachelor's degree in common sense, you see, so I used my hand to catch them again. Oh, a little secret. It took a while longer than what I'm showing you here. Here they are in the tank, looking about as good as I could expect. Giving them another taste of distraction number three. So far, so good. Here are the two main guys I was worried about, and it's like no one is aware of them at all. The little guy, Eduardo, is scared to death, but no one cares that he's here because he's so small. I was never really concerned about how he would do. It was all going exactly as planned. What could go wrong? Now, I was feeling pretty good about myself right about now. I'd done everything I was supposed to do except turning off the lights, and that was so you guys could see better, but it didn't even seem to matter. I mean, the, the new guys weren't being jerks, they weren't getting picked on by anybody. It was going quite well. And of course, that's when everything took a turn and disaster was lurking right around the corner. So this ruby red guy is just hanging out still like it's no big deal. He was never the top dog in the tank, but he was one of the most productive troublemakers in the yard. But this big boy, some are starting to take notice. I mean, look at this guy. Eventually, others are going to start taking over the role of lead agitator from him, and you can tell that the German Red is starting to feel the heat. Definitely time to turn the lights off. Actually, it's way too late to turn them off. If I could go back, I'd sacrifice the quality of this video and turn them off right when I added him back. And who knows if that would have even have made a difference. Now that the lights are low, I guess this guy feels it's time to let loose his nefarious intentions for Mr. Red. Even Moby wants a piece of the action, and he's a nice guy. So I figure it's time for another distraction. Let's get a hand in the tank and start doing some cleaning. This kind of worked while I was doing it with no long-term lasting effects. In fact, now it's getting worse. My Petco Special OB is starting to actually take strikes at it. It's dark outside now, and turning off all the lights in the tank, living room, and kitchen helped to ease the violence. Although now there's a threat of violence as my wife tells me she's not spending the rest of the night in complete darkness, and I wonder what she'll do to me. I eventually get to keep the lights off, but later tonight I'll sleep with one eye open, just in case. After watching for a few more hours, it's all settled down. Alcatraz has fallen asleep, and so will I. Now it's morning, and all is well, until some natural light starts pouring in. Then it all starts up again. Still, it's just the German Red who's been marked. I can see that he has some damage to his fins and body from the night before, and I'll be moving him back to Cozy Acres if I can't get this resolved in the next hour or so. Maybe moving the decor will help. Once you've done everything you know how to do, it's time to start making up. I discovered that if I tap on the panel when my Petco Special goes in for the attack, he gives up the chase. And soon I just have to put my hand up there. As expected though, this only deters his nasty disposition while I'm standing there at the ready. I thought maybe if I did this for about 15 minutes or so, well, I know, but it was worth a try, maybe. Then I figured I'd try chasing my chief villain with a net and then leave the net in the tank. Red knew to stay by the net as a place of sanctuary, 
But again, as expected, my Obi eventually lost his fear of it. Out of ideas, Red finally goes back to Cozy Acres. He's a bit worse for wear, but he didn't sustain any significant long-term damage. I was hoping to keep him, but he'll have to go into the rehoming protection program with a brand new identity somewhere else. So I did get two out of three fish that this did work out, but then the other one, it didn't work out well. So will I do this again in the future? I don't know. I might if there's a fish that's really worth it to try all this again and see if it'll make him work in the aquarium, but it's just hard to tell. I think we'll just have to wait and see. Does the timeout method work for you? Well, it seems to have worked out so far with the Ruby Red, who was a jerk before, and I've had it work occasionally in the past. Who knows if Red would have returned to his prior villainous behavior had he not been ravaged by his old inmates. If you don't employ the timeout method in your aquarium, how do you deal with cichlid aggression? Let me know in the comments. If you keep African cichlids, then you know that nothing works all the time, and sometimes nothing works at all.